Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. In the last part, the sixth pillar of our belief, we believe in the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is predestination, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed that everything will happen and the way that it happens is happening, but we are still given the choice whether we want to do something or not. So Allah puts us in a situation, you have a choice either to go through with that situation or not. And that is uh, an aspect of our life that many people, subhanAllah, just can't wrap their heads around. It's very difficult to understand or to comprehend. And this is why it's important for us to constantly go and seek the knowledge of this deen with our scholars, insha'Allah ta'ala. But to touch upon qadr, right? To touch upon the khair and the sharr. Every single thing that happens around us, there is some goodness in it. There is something, even when it's bad or we think it's bad and it's harmful to us or it's disturbing us, it makes us uncomfortable, takes us out of our zone where we feel I'm in control. That in itself could be something that is beneficial for each and every one of us had we known the purpose behind it. So what's intended here is that we maximize from every situation. You might notice that someone is sick and someone goes into the hospital. And then subhanAllah, you know, they're like, why? Why am I doing this? Why, why am I in this situation? Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me, you know, uh, uh, this illness? But yet you could learn from that aspect. You could learn that you've, you've been given a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that your life is not in your hands, it's not in your control. And you don't have the ability to either give yourself health or to take away the illness or to give yourself even an illness in any way, shape or form. That is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, just to highlight the portion that is important and relevant, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, says the entire world, or the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us that the entire world, had it gotten together, everyone was to get together and to try and harm us, no one would be able to do that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want that to happen. While at the same time, if the entire world gets together to try and benefit us, let's say someone is sick and they want a cure from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if everyone on earth was to get together and try and provide the cure themselves, if Allah doesn't want that cure to come, then no one can make that happen. So qadr itself, the good, fate, whatever is good and whatever is bad, comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now there's a verse or verses in the Quran pertaining to the person who realizes when they stand in front of Allah, that they may have done or may have made decisions that would benefit them or harm them in the hereafter. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, As for the person who receives his book in his right hand or her book in her right hand, we notice that this person is the one who was good in the aspects of life that they went through and they took the right choices, the right path, they decided to go uh, through the, the avenue that was closest to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prefers. Allah mentions that person who receives their book in their right hand. They will turn around and announce, they will be so happy and excited. This is my book. The person will say, I thought that, you know what, I wasn't going to be someone who was successful, someone, I thought I was, I was the opposite, the person who did such bad things. And then we notice, subhanAllah, Allah mentions this person will be in Jannah, this person will enter the gardens and they will benefit from many things. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the person who receives the book in the left hand. And Allah says, وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِشِمَالِهِ the person who receives their book in their left hand, they will say, how I wish I was not even given my book. How I wish I was not even given my book. Why? Because they chose. Either you do good or you do bad. And you're put in a situation where you have that decision. There's qadr that's going to come our way. You might be in a car accident and you realize, subhanAllah, this is bad. This is, you know, uh, this, is, this is something that harmed me, harmed my car, harmed my family. But Alhamdulillah, I'm still alive. Alhamdulillah, I can still pray. Alhamdulillah, I can still breathe. Alhamdulillah, I can still help other people. But then you'll notice the other person who's in the same car accident. They say, why did Allah give me this? This is ridiculous. I'm not going to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anymore. And they turn away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And then Allah mentions the person who received their book in their left hand. Did their money help them? Did their wealth help them? Did anything that they thought was beneficial to them, yet they used it in a way that took them away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, was that beneficial to them in the hereafter? It wasn't because they received their book in their left hand. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for us to understand these verses of the Qur'an as well as the uh, six pillars of Iman beginning with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the books and the messengers and uh, going through the last day uh, as well as the qadr and belief in uh, the angels. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for each and every one of us to understand this deen, not only to just read it, but to implement it in our lives and to live accordingly so that we can receive our book in our right hand, insha'Allah ta'ala. Jazakumallahu khayran. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.